your show played this clip of Hillary Clinton. We'll play it for our audience, discuss it on the other side. They have a couple of scenarios that they're looking uh, toward. One is messing up absentee balloting so that they then get maybe a narrow advantage in the Electoral College on Election Day. Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances because I think this is going to drag out and eventually I do believe he will win if we don't give an inch and if we are as focused and relentless as the other side is. So, John Heilman, what do you make of her very public advice and its timing? Well, I'm, Brian, I make of it uh, a, a something that's a perfect Rorschach for the American uh, body politic right now. The reaction to this clip has been uh, you had on the right has, has seized on the clip you had from this morning. You had Sean Hannity, uh, the, pre the president's team put it up on his YouTube page, basically saying, you know, Hillary Clinton is advising Joe Biden to try to steal the election. There's been an incredible amount of invective thrown her way, as there always is when she says something controversial from the right. But on the left in the Democratic Party, they've all been saying, damn right, she's she's telling the truth right here. And, and, and she's given him very good advice. And I, I guess I would say, uh, you know, Donald Trump has made it very clear over the last months that if and that any result other than a clear cut victory for him, which is to say a, any result by which Joe Biden might win, he's going to challenge. He's going to say that the race was illegitimate. He's going to blame mail in voting. He's going to say the system was rigged and he's going to litigate like crazy. Hillary Clinton here seems to be essentially saying this is what Donald Trump's going to do. Joe Biden, you better get ready to do the same thing, that we're going to be likely in an overtime situation, that this is going to be a, not a clear cut uh, outcome on election night and that you better lawyer up and get ready for the fight that might play out not just in one Florida situation like in 2000, but in multiple Florida, so to speak, uh, from November all the way through potentially to January. And to me, that that may be polarizing to partisans, but that seems to me to be a pretty clear eyed assessment of where we're headed. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.